Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematic. Today we have a really interesting problem. We need to solve this. We have 1 to the x equal to 3 and we need to find our x. How can we do this? On the first side this equation is easy one, but on the second side if we look at this 1 to the x it looks like always time equal to 1. Because if we take natural log on both sides, so what we will have? We will have natural log of 1 to the x equal to natural log 3. So this x goes right here, so we will have x times natural log 1 equal to natural log 3. And if we divide both sides by natural log 1, we will have that x equal to natural log 3 over natural log 1. So as a result we have this answer, but if you know a little bit about natural log, this natural log 1 equal to 0. So we have a constant equal to 0, so right here we have no real real solution. But what about solution as general? So maybe we'll have right here a solution, compl complex solution. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. First of all I want to write this form. So a lot of students know this form, so I write this form e to the power i times theta equal to cosine theta plus i times sine theta. So everyone know this form, this is really good form. And take a look closely, if for example theta equal to 0, for example, this is equal to e to the power 0 equal to cosine 0 plus i sine 0, so which is equal to 1. So as a result this form is absolutely good with theta equal to 0 and of course for everyone, for every another number this form is really good for us. But I want to show you a really good substitution right here. If for example theta equal to 2k pi and k equal to 1, 2, 3, so k is z. So that's a whole number. So for example, let's go with this substitution. And I want to mention one really interesting moment, because when we have this substitution, our first equation right here looks like that. So we will have e to the power i times 2k pi equal to cosine 2k pi plus i times sine 2k pi. So we have like this substitution, so nothing hard right now, we just have this substitution. But moreover, I want to mention one really interesting moment, because take a look closely, if we go for example for k equal to 1, if k equal to 1 what we will have right here, we will have that e to the power i times 2 pi equal to cosine 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi. And if you know a little bit about sine and cosine, right here equal to 1 and right here equal to 0. So as a result we have equal to 1. So with this k equal to 1 we have as a result we will have 1. But let's go a little bit further. Let's go for example for k equal to 2. So if k equal to 2, so for k equal to 2. If k equal to 2 what we will have? We will have e to the power i times 4 pi equal to cosine 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi. And this is a period, because right here we have 1 and right here we will have 1 as well, because this is a period 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi and right here 0. So as a result it's the same 1 that in the beginning. Ok, let's go next. What we will have next? For, for example, k equal to, equal to 3. If k equal to 3 Nothing hard, because we will have right here e to the power i times 6 pi equal to cosine 6 pi plus i sine 6 pi, which is equal to 1, because right here this is a period, this is equal to 1, this is equal to 0. And a lot of students ask me why I do this explanation, why I write 1, 2, 3, k equal to 1, 2 and 3, because right now if you look closely it doesn't matter with this k if you are talking about an integers of course, it's a set of whole numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4 and a lot of number. right here we have a period and as a result e to the power i times 2 times k times pi equal to 1, 4 k is a whole number, so k is z. And this is a really good substitution, because k, when k is a whole number, we can easily write instead of this one, and instead of this one in the beginning, we can write this substitution. So we will have, let's change this one by this e to the power i times 2k pi. So we will have e to the power i times 2 
times k times pi to the power x because we have to the power x on the left equal to equal to 3 okay and let's let's uh, write right here our x so as a result let's take natural log on both sides so if we take natural log we will have natural log e to the power i times 2 times k times pi and times times this x equal to equal to 3 or not 3 this is like natural log 3 because we take on both sides and let's go next we just don't need this natural log so as a result this goes right here as a, as a product so as a result we'll have e times 2 times k times pi times x times natural log e and on the right side we will have natural log 3 and moreover we need our x but we don't need this expression right here so let's divide this expression by e times 2 times k times pi and this one divide by this i 2 k pi from here we can easily cancel this from here natural log e equal to 1 so as a result we will have that our x equal to equal to natural log 3 if we using cross multiplying times e and all over i times 2 times k times pi and times i when i square equal to minus 1 so right here if you multiply it this one by this one we will have our final answer but with the minus sign i read this final answer right here so our final answer is the next we will have minus i times natural log 3 over 2 k pi and of course a little bit step right here because k not equal zero not equal to zero and k is a whole number so and of course this is not like a general solution because right here k cannot be equal to zero so when k equal to zero we don't know about it when k is not a whole number when k is not z we don't know about it if for example k equal to one point half then this this uh, identity doesn't work right here so tricky problem tricky answer so i hope you understand this explanation if you don't understand write your question in a comment really interesting problem so as you can see in the beginning we don't have real roots this is the first step second step i go with this identity so a lot of there are a lot of identities how can you go with this with this problem but i start with this one when we go with k equal to 1 and 2 and 3 we'll have the same one on the right hand side <clears throat> so as a result we can easily plug in this expression instead of this one but k need to be need to be z because right here this is only works when k equal to k, k is z and k is not equal to zero so this is my approach what about you write a question in comment write your suggestion in comment i try to help everyone it's not hard if it's not hard to you please support my channel with a like i really appreciate it and thank you see you in the next videos